Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now in today's video, I kind of wanted to make a video going forward about what I'm going to be doing with the channel and just discussing a few things that's been going on in the community over the last few weeks. So I just watched Murdoch, good friend Murdoch DeFi's new video uh, in terms of what he's doing going forward and I loved it um, and I wanted to do a similar video stating what I'm going to be doing and my plan going forward because look over the last few weeks we've had a few things happen, right? We've had Alpha Capital go down. We've had Circulate Rug. Um, we also had, uh, I can, what else did we have, man? There's, there's been so much stuff going on over the last week. Um, we've also had uh, Yield Robot have some issues this afternoon, which look like they've gone down. And also Relay Fund has been having some issues with Brandon, okay? And the website's down and the Discord is, uh, is closed for new messages right now. But also... You, the contract's still intact for real life fund at the time of recording this video. So, there's been a lot of rugs. Um, Fodfile and Murdoch done a video, if you haven't watched it, go ahead and watch it. Uh, they had this sort of influencers pledge. Um, now, however, Murdoch's come out of the video today saying instead of doing that, what he's going to do is set by example and do his sort of thing instead of sort of you know, trying to be the leader and getting all of these YouTubers under the same sort of thing, which I completely agree and love that way of going forward. Um, so this is what I'm going to be doing going forward, right? Now, I've been doing this for way over a year in terms of the channel. I've been doing similar things in terms of showing projects, in terms of showing what I'm doing in DeFi, because I live off, I live off DeFi full time, right? I do the YouTube thing as well, but I've been living off DeFi way before I started making videos. I'm living off of DeFi for almost two years now. So I was living off DeFi a year before I even started making videos, um, Anyway, so I've been going, I've, I've been, I've gone through so many rug pulls, okay, I've lost a lot of money to rug pulls, but also I've made money in DeFi, um, I live off this, I live off this, right, but going forward, what I'm going to be doing is, because as you guys know, I like to go into more degen plays, you've got things like 2% a day, real life fund, the trading bots, which are like 1, 2, 3% a day, which of course are super risky, you know, these things aren't going to be here forever. Everyone knows that. We're all adults here. We all know that all of this is super risky stuff. However, going forward, what I'm going to be doing is speaking to the owners. If it's a sponsored video and not just something that I'm personally doing, if they're paying me, because of course, if it's a sponsored video, I always make sure I let you guys know at the start of the video, in the video, that it is sponsored. And that's what I'm going to be continuing doing going forward. You're going to know if it's a sponsored video at the start. If you don't want to watch sponsored videos, don't watch sponsored videos. Um, simple as that. Okay, if you don't want to watch it, if they're paying me, don't watch it. That's completely fine. Um, if it's not a sponsored video, I will say that it's not a sponsored video and I'm putting my own money in this thing. And even with sponsored videos, you know, I only really take the ones that I am that I like the project for or I have my own money in. Okay, so going forward, of course, the sponsored videos are always going to state that they're sponsored at the start of it, like I always have done and I always will continue doing. As well as that, if you go on my channel, you notice that I haven't really done many AMAs. Now, a lot of people have been doing AMAs recently, and I've got an AMA coming out this week with the Large Capital. I also have a video coming out on them today. So, when these guys reach out, as you know, a lot of my sponsored videos and normal videos are just reviews of the project and also what I'm doing and stuff like that. It's mainly just going over the project. However, going forward, I'm going to, if these guys reach out to me, I'm going to ask them if they're interested in doing an AMA. Now, on that AMA, what I'm going to do is, and that's a chance for me to speak to the developer directly in front of you guys. So I'm going to be asking them about KYCs. I'm going to be asking them about audits as well. Now, in terms of KYC, I do think that it's a good step forward. However, I don't think it's a, um, let's see here. I don't think it's a, a one size fits all kind of uh, thing going forward that's going to protect DeFi and protect everyone. Okay, because let's see, with a KYC, yes, it's good because you know, a KYC and audit company has those guys information, but they can still get hacked, they can still get exploited, and the end result's still the same, we've lost our money. So yes, they may be KYC'd, and, and I'll give FTX, FTX as an example, okay? We, we all know who SBF is, right? Sam bankman fried He's now arrested, which is great, and he deserves that, but um, it doesn't stop the fact that we everyone's lost their money in FTX, Right, I held quite a few FTT tokens. I've I had some money staking on FTX at one point. I didn't when they uh, went down, but uh, I held a lot of quite a few th few thousand dollars worth of FTX tokens. So, you know, like my money's gone, your guys' money's gone. That was invested in, in FTX. Yes, Sam's arrested, but it still doesn't 
you know get rid of the fact that the money's still gone of course he gets punishment by that and having this kyc with kyc companies yes they will go ahead and get punished because these kyc companies will then release the information to the authorities but again it doesn't stop the end result of us losing money okay and that's the biggest thing we want to stop us somehow losing money and i look i don't know what the answer is no one knows what the answer is everyone's kind of learning as we go but kyc is a, a good step forward um but again it's not the be or end all okay you, you will still we can still lose money if they get hacked or exploited the end result is still the same so i'm going to be asking them about kyc i'm going to be asking them about audits and i understand look if they don't want to dox uh publicly they have family whatever it is that's completely fine i get that but if they then if they can kyc to one of these companies at least then these kyc companies have their information they can pass that on to the authorities if they do rug pull um, so I'm going to be asking about KYCs and again, I know it's not a be all and end all, but it's some sort of step forward. Okay. And I'm going to be asking about audits. I'm also going to, you know, ask them point blank and Murdoch did mention this in his video, you know, ask them point blank if they plan to rug pull. Um, and I know that of course <laughs> this is DeFi, right? I'm sure if you asked, if one of these guys asked, uh, James from circulate, he would say no, but Again, for me, it just makes me feel a bit more confident that I'm speaking to a human and that I can, you know, sort of hear how he answers that and I can kind of take that information with me kind of thing. So I can, you know, uh, it's one of those where it depends on the answer that they give and how they say it. Um, that's going to be an interesting one. So I, I'm, I'm going to be asking that question as well. And then, so in terms of the risks, I'm always going to outline the risks I always have, but I'm really just trying to make these steps forward so that the biggest thing for me is going to be AMA so that I can ask them direct questions that may be uncomfortable for them, but also will give us good information and a lot more information on the project in terms of going forward and making us feel a bit more safe in terms of putting our money there. Um, so look, this isn't the first time I've been through rug pools. I've been rugged for maybe almost six figures now, um, but I do this thing full time it's not the end of the world for me in terms of being rugged because I make money full time by doing this thing. Rug pulling is so annoying. We all know the risks, but going forward, I am going to do, I'm going to try and ask the more direct questions that maybe are a bit more uncomfortable for them so that we can get those answers and, uh, and have a bit more sort of, yeah, have a bit more of a direct answer from them in terms of these sort of harder questions. So I'm going to start doing some more AMAs on the channel. Uh, I know a lot of people have been doing these for a while. Shout out to James Pelton, Murdoch for doing these for a bit of time as well. Um, and yeah, guys, that's my plan going forward. AMAs and asking more direct questions to these guys. And if they don't want to do an AMA and they just want to do a video, I speak to a lot of these guys through email and telegram. I'm going to be asking them these questions through these methods. And if they don't reply to me, we won't go the video. If they reply in the wrong way or don't like the answer again, we won't do the video. So those are going to be my my plan going forward is going to be more direct hard questions before i even take payment or do a video right so that's going to be my plan going forward i just wanted to get this out there because i know that there's been a lot of rug pulls and i know that us as youtubers of course you know we have to be doing something going forward so that we can kind of i don't want to say make this space safe this space is never going to be safe uh, it's always going to be super risky. It's decentralized for a reason. And until there is sort of reg some sort of regulation, which will be coming in the next few years, in my opinion, rug pulls will still always happen. It's still always going to be super risky. There's no safe haven. There's no way we can put money in on 2% a day forever. It's just not going to happen. That's not realistic. However, it's never been like that. It's been a case where if you get in and out early enough and you can flip that balance, which I've always tried to preface and mention in most of my videos and get that point across, then you can potentially make some money there. And of course, it's still risky and you might not be able to do it with every single project as we've seen. So that's my plan going forward. Uh, again, more direct hard questions, more AMAs and asking those questions before we even start doing the video. So that's going to be my plan going forward. But um, guys, if it's going to be a, a super degen play, I may still do it. But of course, again, I'm still going to be um, you know, these risky plays for two, three percent a day, I'm still going to make videos on them. I still like going into these things. I put my risk capital in these things. So um, I'm still going to make videos on them because that's what I'm doing. And, and you know, that adds to my sort of cash flow that I live off every day. So I'm still going to do it. But again, I'm going to be asking these guys more of these questions um, going forward. But yeah, guys, I wanted to make this video just to tell you what I'm sort of going to be doing going forward. Let me know down below what you think. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new down below and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.